Hi, this is a demonstration of long range spy robot system. So this is an advanced system that allows the user to navigate this robot over very large distances. So this distance, this distance can be uh, very large, you know, from uh, actually the user can control this from almost uh, anywhere in the world because it uses uh, DTF technology, which, uh, reside, which uh, is based on uh, a call, a uh, data call. So that uh, when a user calls a mobile phone that is mounted uh, on this uh, system, this number then starts the data connection and accepts uh, the commands sent by the user who is calling the mobile phone on this particular robot. So in this way, uh, you know, the user can, uh, just needs to have both the cell phones, the robot as well as the other cell phone in the uh, network. And uh, if that is done, the user can control this from anywhere around the world. The distance doesn't matter. So for this purpose, we are using a DTM decoder IC here which is uh, interfaced with the Azure Fan Family Microcontroller and it is also inter interfaced to uh, the driver motors to run the vehicle and uh, this is the camera here. This is a night vision based spy camera which uh, transmits the data, the video footage wirelessly to a PC so that the user can view this. So you know the si system can be operated over unlimited range but uh, since this is a demonstration system the camera has a limited range around 5 to 6 meters for displaying the footage but uh, the robot can be controlled from almost uh, anywhere in the world so let's see how the system works let's uh, connect a mobile phone to the robot Now let's do one thing, let's uh, call this cell phone from another number. So as you can see we are calling this particular number now. And we need to pick it up here. So the number has been picked. So we can also set the cell phone mounted on the vehicle to auto answer mode to pick up uh, calls automatically. So that we don't have to pick it up there. So now let's do one thing, let's uh, pass commands to move the robotic vehicle. Let's move it in forward direction. So similarly backward. Now let's stop it. And this is the left and right commands here, as you can see. This is how the user can control the robotic vehicle over a data network from unlimited range. The range doesn't matter to the system. And uh, now let's see a live demonstration of the system working. 